what's going on welcome back to another brand new android studio tutorial so from the last tutorial itself we have the layout designed for the android app so we have been designing a layout for the login screen of your android app and we have added all these things in the previous tutorial so in case if you miss it that then please go and watch that and uh, then come back okay so today we are going to just create a custom button and uh, we are going to add some other kind of uh, material design as i said before in the previous tutorial so first of all i'm going to add a material design for this edit text for for doing that all you have to do is that you have to just add a line over here and you want to just you have to simply just wrap up the edit text with a new line so yeah that's going to be the design line so first of all all you have to do is that we have to just add the dependency inside the app level gradle file so the dependency is nothing but something like this com.android.support design and this is the version currently while i'm recording this video it will be different while if you're just watching this tutorial in the future so right now you can just add this line and click on the sync from here once it is done close that and now what you have to do is we have uh, two different edit tags so i'm going to as i said i'm going to just wrap it so using the yeah this one text input layout wrap content wrap content and now we have to just cut the edit text from here paste it between these two and now okay mm, now we have to align it properly so i'm going to simply just just below this yeah these two lines i'm just going to paste it here and that's it now i'm going to do the same thing for the second one so text input layout wrap content and just cutting this edit text from here pasting it between these two line and uh, simply this time i want to just paste it here okay so i just want to just cut this from here paste it here okay now it's ready if i want i can also add some other margin so android margin 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 top 10 dp or uh, i guess 30 dp is better now we got something like this okay so we have to simply change this into a text three okay now it's ready once again and uh, finally what we have to do is i'm going to simply change this 71 into 100 okay so when you are going to the design you can see something like this there is no any other kind of different changes so next we are going to just simply change the custom we are going to use a custom button instead of this normal button so for this example i just want to go to the website called angrytools.com then you have to just go to angrytools.com slash android slash button which is a button maker online application or something what you want to call it web application or something like that so anyway in this website you can find something like this you can simply adjust all these things according to your preference so button background that is the background color ending color i want to use the same things for better better understanding start color now you can see something like this i didn't expect it anyway solid yeah solid okay this thing is okay so in case of the custom button all we have to do is that simply create a drawable folder with the button button style so button shape is this one we have to simply copy this from uh, this xml point into to the shape copy that go back into android studio open your resources drawable right click then go to new drawable resource file i want to name it as button okay so my custom button just completely copy paste and that's it now you can see we have the solid color then different color maybe this is the second one so this is going to be when the button is not clicker and this is going to be when the button is clicker so i want to change the button clicker into something like this okay 
now closing that so i just want to say that you don't have to actually go to this website and do all these steps you can simply create a drawable xml file and inside that you have to write something like this so we have a different kind of options if you want you can also do that this is there are a plenty of other kind of uh, button customization codes i guess this is one of the most easiest way now what we have to do is that we have to just close that and come back to the text and instead of the background color we have to now use the drawable image background then my custom button and blam you can see we have to simply change this into wrap content for better experience and now you can see we have the custom button with custom background and something like that now i'm going to change this into something like 30 dp 30 sp yeah now we have it now if you're running the application right now on the device you will be finding that when the button is clicker then it will be going to just change this purple color into something gray and uh, you can also change it into custom size and heights anything as you wish it's all up to you so i just want to change it into 150 150 dp and this into something like now you can see we have some kind of uh, uh what do we say a custom button and uh, a material design edit text and if you want you can also add a custom background color i guess that custom background is much better so background then uh, ash then fffff and now you can see it is actually visible over here we have uh, a white color which you can click and it will be bringing up this color chooser in which we are going to use something like this clean the choose and now if you want you can also add some other kind of customization so i'm going to remove this action bar so that we will be getting a full screen view so i'm going to this values then styles and also as i mentioned you can also change the color so there is no use of changing the color if you're just hiding this action bar so in order to hide the action bar you can simply change this dark action bar into no action bar and that will be taking care of the work now we have uh, we don't have the action bar and we get a full screen view which is a lot better in my opinion yeah so that's it if you want you can also add a view maybe you will be in my case i have where i i thought many times that where does this thing available like a, a single line that is using the view let me show you in a couple of i just want let me ask something like this now okay now we have to simply change the my view into just now no 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 I want to add a margin margin bottom 10 dp or 30 dp and changing this into 2 dp or you can simply change the match parent into 300 dp changing the gravity into the center so it may be like central horizontal or true okay so now you can see we got something like this i want to change this into maybe gray color and 2 dp into 1 dp okay so yeah that's it now in this tutorial we have removed the action bar we added the material design edit text we added a custom button and also we added a line which i have seen in most of the application using this line and this view so i thought of just describing it in this in this tutorial maybe we will be wrapping up this customization layout customization tutorial within the next one and uh, starting the firebase tutorial so hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you are new to this channel and uh, yeah as always thanks for watching peace out Thank you.